you wanna find me? Yeah, I'm in the front row. With my two tickets, I'll be I'm in the front row. The best place to be, I'm in the front row. What's going on, guys? In the front row, we are back. It's been about a week and a half. We're back in here. Me and Dev. This is Chris. What's going on, guys? What's up? How you feeling, Dev? I'm feeling good. How you doing, man? I know you're pumped. <laughs> yeah. I know you're pumped because NFL is officially here in what two days? Let's no tomorrow. Let's go oh, yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, it's already a short week. I tomorrow. forgot. First yeah, tomorrow's tomorrow. already Thursday. Yeah, and that's gonna be New England and New England and Kansas City. And tomorrow. Kansas City tomorrow. Yeah, more importantly than that, I'm just excited. Well, I'm excited about NFL, but you know me, I'm a big college guy too. Oh gosh. So I was real. I'm real excited about that. We'll touch into that stuff. We got some yeah, college stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I know what you're, you're smiling because you've been wanting to talk for weeks. Oh man, the thing we've been debating over all and these over, haters, all these over and over. We've been. All right, let me get this months. off my Go chest because everyone's been everyone's tired of hearing me talk about this. Mayweather McGregor went down like I said it was going to go down. It happened the way it was gonna, I said it was going to happen. Uh, the only thing that surprised me is Floyd was a little bit more aggressive than I had originally anticipated him to be. He came out throwing. And, well, not really because the first three rounds he didn't really throw. But he wasn't defensive. He didn't play the defensive fighter at all, which was kind of refreshing to see. I, that was the way everyone hoped he fought against Pacquiao because then it would have been a different fight. But either way, it was entertaining. Uh, Connor didn't have a shot. If anyone thought he actually had a shot, he didn't. They said he landed 111 punches. That's CompuBox. CompuBox is a lot of times full of shit. I'd say he probably landed about 80 shots. Maybe, and 90% of those 80 shots are pity pat. Those little slap punches that you throw on the jab. Either way, it was entertaining. Uh, all you Conor fans, UFC fans, still a great sport. Conor's still a great MMA fighter. This is boxing. Like I said, it's night and day. Let Floyd retire in peace. I hope he does not choose to come back and do another bogus fight. We are about nine days out from a mega fight of Triple G and Canelo. That's going to blow everybody away. A few, not really into boxing, watch this fight because Triple G is a knockout artist. Canelo is a knockout artist. They're both two of the best fighters in the sport. That's going to be awesome. All right, so let's do this. I know you've been dying. You're, you're UCLA Bruins. Wait, well, I can't talk about the... M- M- oh, M- you want to say something? Go ahead, go ahead. You know, go ahead. I always got something to say. Go ahead, you know, I got something go to say. I just wanted to say a little before we close this out finally, because we've been talking about it for months. So I could say something to close it out real quick. Go ahead. I just feel like the fight went exactly how we both said it was going to go. Yeah. The fight went... Um, We knew it was going to go like that. We knew he was going to probably end up knocking him out or when he wanted to on Mayweather. And I think the fact that... I just wanted to clear a lot of people. I've heard a lot of people say this is one thing that I haven't liked. I hear people saying he gave him the best fight we've ever seen oh, for Mayweather. God. But my my point, what I'm telling them is, yo, he was getting. I was like, Mayweather didn't fight him like he fights everyone else. No, he doesn't. Mayweather stood in front of him the yeah. first round, didn't even move his. The announcer, I don't know if you're really watching. The announcer even said Mayweather has no footwork right now. Yeah, Mayweather was. I think Mayweather didn't respect him. He rope doped him exactly. Mayweather knows he, I can't get he copied knocked Muhammad out Ali. by this guy. He stayed on the ropes, was taking punches. <laughs> Well, dodging him, but he was willing to get hit and let Connor tire himself out. Yeah, that's what I think he did. So and I what like, I like too, they said in the ninth round, Floyd even told him, uh, "Where's that power? I thought you were gonna <laughs> knock me out. Where's that knockout power?" And no, you can tell when you're in a fight, you know, fighters aren't supposed to breathe with their mouth open. You breathe through your nose, bro. Keep your mouth closed. Connor's mouth is dropped to the floor. I was like telling everybody when round, I were at dude. the fight party I was at, I right away, I'm like, look at this dude. I'm like, he's tired already. No, he was and gassing then, the fourth You round. heard when Floyd Sr. told him in the first round or second round, just stop. He's like, this motherfucker's going to die. He's going to die out. He knew yeah. what it was. They he said playing. his dad was said, on it, too. His dad said, this motherfucker's going to die out. Just don't even worry about it. And Floyd wasn't tripping. You could see he was so calm after those first couple rounds. And the third round, he smiles, looks yeah, at the exactly camera, right big old smile. And then smile. he's like, all right, let me start going to work a little bit. That's when he went to work, fourth round. he started jabbing him up, and that's when it happened. So Yeah. Like I thought, won all the bets I placed. There were easy bets. Yeah, I won people. 120. People wanted to bet me, so I was taking. I took them. So that's that. So now we can close that chapter. It's in. They're buried alive. All Done. you, all you MMA fans that were saying Connor was going to do this, Connor was going to do that. Like we said, zero chance. Had no shot. Yep. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now UCLA. You're a UCLA guy. Uh, and, you want to talk and about? You want to talk about the? Oh, not in football. In football, I, I'm a Florida State football diehard since I was a kid. That was a great game. If you want to talk about football, Florida State played Alabama. Alabama number one, Florida State number three. It, it went to the down to the wire. Florida State ended up losing their their quarterback got hurt, and it turns out he he's out for the whole season. 
So now Florida State's in a bad spot. They got to put in a true freshman quarterback. The, the freshman quarterback's loving life, though, right? Oh, now. He ha- he's loving life, but he's also probably nervous. You're like, man, I'm at this top program. I don't know. I'm on a top 10 it's, team it's, right it's, now. It's, I think it's a win win. Look it. You weren't supposed to play. You weren't expected to play. And now that you're playing, you're not expected to do exceptionally but well. But you, you got to look at it like this so team. So he kind of does okay. Holy shit. Th- but you got to look at it like this team on came on had national championship aspirations. And so their quarterback's out for the season. Out for the season. He already had surgery. Torres Patellar tendon oh, in his knee. Had surgery the next day. Out for the season. So this freshman, he has a lot of talent around him. So I think if he just doesn't try to do too much, don't try to be Jameis Winston, don't try to be a hero, then I think he should be fine. He has a great defense behind him. Dude. But in terms of your Bruins, let's get back to that. No, no, don't, not, not my Bruins. <laughs> don't. The Bruins. The Bruins. UCLA was down 44-10. to 10. I'm just like Josh Rosen. And, and I'm going to be honest. Dallas. This is what happened. I went to the bar. to watch, I'm like, I'm going to go watch the shoes. I didn't realize it was on Sunday until like Friday. I was trying to see what time to schedule my games on Saturday. I'm going to watch. I'm like, wait, UCLA doesn't play until Sunday. So I was like, okay, I'll just go to the bar to watch it. So I go to the bar. I'm watching it. And I'm just watching this first half. I'm watching Texas A&M run yeah, they, the ball down ugly. their throat. I think ugly. they had like almost 300 yards rushing at halftime. Yeah. And then for some odd reason, they go up 44-10. to 10, Their quarterback gets hurt. But they were rotating quarterbacks anyway. So the other quarterback was already playing. But yeah, then all of a sudden, for the, game. the coach for Texas A&M stops running the ball. I'm like, I don't understand. What are you doing? You're going to stop running the ball. You said they got a couple stops. And you know what they say about that momentum? When shit starts rolling, it's going downhill. Momentum Boom. got all on UCLA side. And, and next made thing a couple know, big passes, I left. big plays. 44-10, I said, I'm done with this. I can't watch UCLA get embarrassed. It's going to get worse. I left. I said, you know what? I have a fantasy draft. Let me go home and prepare for this fantasy draft. I go home, and then I start getting texts. I'm like, you know, let me see what the final, let me see what the score was. And I'm like, wait a minute, UCLA's winning. <laughs> I had no, I didn't know. So then I saw the highlights, and I started hearing people telling me. And I was like, oh, wait, Rosen caught fire, looks like. And then yeah. UCLA was a little luck. There's always luck involved. The guy had an interception. I don't know if you saw this. The guy had the interception in his hand yeah. and dropped it, and it went right through, and the guy caught the inner touchdown. I was like, wow. Like, But Texas A&M, to close that, that's a bad look for Texas A&M. Their coach was already on the hot seat. The next day, regents of the school were already coming out. We need to be fired. Like, dang, no support. Like, that's a terrible look for him. First game of the season. Well, dude, that's what they were doing. Now, switching switching gears to USC. Yeah. They were doing that, too, to USC. Yeah. The USC, but see, a lot of They're like, oh, yeah, this guy's done. A lot of people don't that work. Yeah. But I'm talking about, are you talking about in reference to them almost losing this Saturday as well? But a lot of people are like, that was a good team. Both of them played good teams. Like, Texas A&M was a decent team. I bet if Texas A&M played Western Michigan, it would be a good game right now. But UCLA is not expected to have a really good season, though. No. They was all, no, because last year they were bad when Rosen got hurt. And and everyone's just thinking that all they have is Rosen. It looks like to what I saw in the second half. From, like, in the highlights and things, like, it looks like their defense stepped up second half. They was 44-10. How many wins? Six. UCLA? I think they – six, seven. That's their – I think that's it for them right now. Six or seven. Yeah. And I wouldn't be surprised if it was worse than that. If that first half team I saw, I still think a better competent team should have closed the deal. Texas A&M just isn't a competent team. Who had right the now. better game? Uh, Rosen or Darnold? Definitely Rosen. Definitely Rosen. Rosen had you saw he came back. Well, he had the already, glory. Correct. He came back, had all the yards, whatever. Darnold he he didn't like wow you. The um, USC killed Western with the, Michigan on the, the running run game. Yeah, the running. They had game. two running backs go over hundred. They had the freshman break. They had so they went in with the run game. Darnold Darnold didn't have that great of a game. He threw a couple picks. But if you look at some of those picks, one of that picks was like amazing pick play by that guy. But I try to tell people Western Michigan is not that bad. Yeah. Western Michigan made a BCS bowl last year. So they're not that bad. They were the Man, best team. In the- I don't even know. There's so many damn bowls. I don't yeah, but BCS Bowl is like one of the top bowls. I think it was, they were either in the Orange Bowl or the Fiesta Bowl last year. Western Michigan was. So yeah. they're not like they're a terrible team. But And does it is it, does SC or the UCLA, which one has a cake schedule? They, uh, they both well, kind of right? kind of like, like they don't have, like last year USC played Alabama first. Like they don't have like an Alabama on their schedule this year. Okay. But the way it sets up, they have Stanford this week already. Like, their schedule's... They That's a rival Stanford. right That's there. That's a big game. Yeah. So Stanford's a great team. Stanford's looking like they're rolling. They smashed the first team they played, so that's going to be a good game. That, their team always gives USC problems for some reason. Stanford always gives SC problems. So who's like, going to win the national championship The national championship? It's early, but... 
college football so it changes because the players are changing. Right now, of course, Alabama. Every, every year, we could just say Alabama because they have the top players. Speaking but. of stuff that's gonna change, I'm just gonna throw this out there. What I've heard, what I've read, what I've seen, what I'm getting the vibe. Chip Kelly is gonna be a, the coach at UCLA. That's what I, if, if you, I don't know if you saw my tweets during the UCLA game. No. I have a couple friends that are big time UCLA fans. One of my friends was tweeting like, UCLA to, you chip to UCLA. And I retweeted. I was like, you know, that's not a bad idea. Actually. Yeah. I think Jim Mora kind of... hasn't done anything. I don't think he's progressed the program Junior. since he's got there. Junior. Yeah. Jim Mora. Playoffs. Remember his dad? <laughs> that's what his dad's known for. Junior. But he hasn't, they, when he came in there, he was supposed to be this big shot. Um, hire from the yeah. NFL. We who, run LA. He's supposed to take over oh, we LA. Run this town. We're supposed to make LA this, make LA that, make UCLA this, make. But UCLA hasn't done anything. They've had two bad seasons in a row. Kind of, like I don't know. UCLA should be better in a better place. Like that. UCLA should never be fighting to barely make a bowl or not making a bowl. UCLA yeah. is good enough. For no, they yeah, they're, be, they're they're they should be in the top. They're part a powerhouse of the top. school. They should be. And yeah. I think Mora, they thought his name was going to bring recruits. That hasn't really worked. They thought he his style was going to... What's that the name of really Michigan? By, He's, by oh, Harbaugh's Harbaugh. the man. Yeah. Harbaugh is undoubtedly... The 49ers made the dumbest thing ever by fire. They've been, they've been bad since he They left. were bad before him. And then when they... They were good while he was and there. Then when, and then they were bad right after he got it gone. I don't think that's a coincidence, Jed York. Jed York is the 49ers owner. And isn't Terrible. it the same thing with uh, Kaepernick, too? <laughs> Kaepernick was good with him. He leaves, new coach comes in, changes his style, Kaepernick bad. So I Kaepernick think, was also hurt, too, after Harbaugh. He was never really fully healthy after that. Yeah. So, all right. Um, so, that's that college. So, we got more coming up. That's to me. Right now, a lot of teams are playing these cupcakes. I like that. It was a couple good games. But as the season progresses, we'll get more. We'll get more in the conference play. Yeah. And we'll have a better discussion. All right. Now, going into NFL, uh, Ezekiel Elliott, Ezekiel Elliott, He's suspended for two games. Now it's six games, but he's going to play the opening game. I was still a little confused. What the on, hell is on going myself, on? But I do, from what I've read and gathered, he's suspended for the six, and they upheld that today. So it's six isn't changing. There's not two, it's six. But then he sued in court for like a, some kind of restraining order on the situation. So I guess he can play by, as of now, he can play Sunday. And yeah. the judge is going to rule on it on Friday. They said it's possible they can get some kind of order where he can play the whole season. So we'll see how that goes. So what? Yeah, that's it's, it's all in the courts now. But I feel like in this situation, I I agree. I read it. I feel like when it comes to domestic violence, you don't mess with you that. You can't. Bro. No, you can't say. I think for one, the NFL needed to make sure they got everything correct. They had turned over every stone, everything. And I can't. I hope that from what I'm hearing and what I've read, their their whole case is pretty much based on he said, she said. It's like he said this, he said. She yeah, said but the, this. They don't they don't they have like supposedly physical she, evidence? Co- she cooperated, sent them pictures of stuff. But there's also he could send them. There's also text messages and stuff I've read where she was trying to have people lie for her about. So there's a lot going on with the situation. I just feel like. The NFL, I don't think, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't, six games is a lot, and he's denying that he did anything. And when it comes to domestic violence, I feel like that's serious. So I don't think you should lie, it. dude, because if you lie and then they prove it, but I then think, it's even but worse. He was locked, even the police came out. I know that's just because he wasn't convicted. I know that doesn't mean he can't be suspended. I understand that. But you got to look at all the evidence. The police had good evidence where they found she was lying. They didn't think she was credible. So I, I just think it's bad that he has to miss six games. If he, it, it's just hard for me to tell. You know what I mean? Like we don't know what really happened. So, but I just think if they don't have enough proof, then that's not right. And I think, I just don't think it's right at that point. No, yeah, you're, and you're right. You're right about that. Um, but he, but he keeps getting himself into trouble. He always has these little freaking mishaps that keep occurring here and there. It's like. Okay, but the thing at a party, and then he beat somebody up. But at I a think bar. like the main thing that they're getting him for is this whole—they were trying to center it all in this supposed domestic violence thing. But I was saying, as far as like what I was going to speak on, I don't—I'm not surprised they didn't reduce the suspension because you can't reduce. It's either you hit her or you didn't. So you can't—you know what I mean? They can't say, "All right, it's three games." He kind of hit her. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm not surprised that it didn't get reduced. But he probably hit her. That's why it's not getting reduced. He said he's gonna. Fight it. He's gonna fight it till he to the end of the time he has to to fight it because he doesn't feel like it's right. All right, now can we switch gears a little bit? Yeah, go ahead. Can we talk about this? Lonzo Ball, you funny looking motherfucker. You, you said that Nas ain't hip hop. My man, you grew up in Chino Hills. 
What the fuck do you know about hip hop? That's that big ball of brand of bullshit. That's my boy, uh, Michael Rappaport. Going off Alonzo Ball for making a ridiculous claim. And then Alonzo Ball seen on stage rapping now? He's, he's busting rhymes on stage. Hey, bro, tell me, where's your boy's head at? Well, I'm, this is where's what I'm Where's your boy's head at? First he's of doing a reality show. Is it Kim Kardashian or is he a basketball player? Why is everybody mad at him? Let him do what he wants to do. You have not seen if it's going to affect his game. And one, I, Michael Rappaport, so his, he makes videos or whatever like that. Some of those videos are funny. Some of them are cool. But I didn't. I wasn't feeling this one because I feel like Lonzo Ball is a 19-year-old kid. Lonzo's he's not going to know Nas anyway. That's what I'm saying. I'm not. He's chilling with his friends just talking about music. Like, let him be. That's what he is. You got to understand, we're, we're different. We're older cats now. Oh, That's no, us. no but doubt. But to say the, that Nas is in hip-hop. I think the quote was not. I told you, I, I, when, when this happened, we talked a little bit on Twitter. I told you, I said, I agree with the part. Ain't nobody out here. I don't know nobody out here still listening to Nas. Like, no, to me, I feel like. But no, Nas. But I'm not saying But I'm not saying Migos and Lil Uzi and all that is, is, is hip-hop either. Nah. I'm just telling you, I agree. And for Michael Rappaport to come out of a kid like that, like, chill out, man. Like, that, I don't feel like that was necessary. He's a 19-year-old kid. Like, chill out. <laughs> You cussing at him, all that stuff. He's cussing at him, called, talking about him, his way he looks, and like that's not necessary. Like, funny looking, yeah. Man. Like all that ain't necessary. Like I think Michael Rapport took went too far with that. Like that's not cool. I don't fuck with that. Okay. Well, man, it's okay, man. No, I, it is okay. I don't know why everyone's in the I, Look, about here's what I don't like about here's choice. what I don't like about Lonzo though. He's really drawing a lot of attention to himself. More How? more than I care to see. He has this what whole, attention has he drawn to himself? He has though? his reality show now. That's his dad, though. He's not the main focus of that. But you, but he's in the Bro, reality he's on show. Doing he rap concerts and Damian Lillard does rap concerts. Damian Lillard can do whatever Look, he wants. They're not in, when he plays like Damian Lillard. This then is what you gotta understand, that. bro. This is what you gotta understand. We gotta understand as fans. Their whole life ain't basketball. Like, he's a basketball player, but that's that's not all he does. He has a life, too, just like you and I. You go to work, you put in your time at work, but after work, you still do what you want to do, right? We don't know what he does. I'm true, sure he but works I, hard. I don't, but true, I don't, have a, he works hard. I don't have a 10-year window. and So he can't have fun in that 10 years? Can. Bro, just because, I guarantee you, your favorite players, your Kobe's, your Jordans, they were out doing the same shit, having fun, but just because social media wasn't around, you didn't know what it was doing. You no, didn't know I know Kobe tried to be a rapper, too. No, exactly, but you know what I'm saying, if Shaq was a rapper, like, if it didn't affect their play? But they but they kind of did that after this Come shit on, was rolling. You, now that now there's an excuse. Oh, it had to be rolling for him to do it. So you got to be doing good. No, I don't care. I'm all about living your life, bro. Do what you do. I'm positive he works hard. I'm pretty sure he works hard, and he probably puts in everything he can at the gym and gives. Do it you all think he he's one of those guys that comes before and stays later? Is he one of those guys that comes when it starts and leaves when it ends? I don't. I don't know. That's the guy I don't want. My but team. I think a lot of that could be fake too, because guys know that coaches like that. So guys can come early, but they don't want to. You could come late and you could stay late, but you don't want to. Guys do that. That could be fake. You know what I mean? You could be at the building. That don't mean you're working hard while you're there. I'd rather someone in here for eight hours who's busting their butt than someone who's there for 12 hours and messing around here, doing a little work, messing around, doing a little work. If you in here, come here and get your work done and do everything you need to do. I don't have a problem with it. Mm-hmm. I don't. He were, And I'm pretty sure he works hard. But just because we see him at a rap concert... He can't go to a rap concert on his night off. He don't. He don't got to play basketball twenty four seven. At a rap concert, he was the rap. That's concert. cool. That's fine. If that's what he wants to do on his side. You can do that. Didn't you? Weren't you in a music group? Man, I wasn't signed to the well, Lakers. I'm just saying though, you had a job and you still did what you did. Like I'm not. I'm just saying. I just don't get why everyone's in an uproar. We gotta understand. They have lives too. Their whole life isn't just to play for the Lakers. It is right now. <laughs> okay. Well, signed. that's your. I don't yeah. agree with. So I don't know, man. I just think like. Get established first before you start getting into other endeavors. Like, he wants to be a rapper, be a rapper, but let's make sure that you lock down this whole... So, what would you want him to do? If he worked all day, say he practiced basketball from early in the morning, he worked out, got all his shots up, worked on his drills, got his conditioning in, put his lifted feet up, weights, put his did feet up. this. Now, come on, bro. You not you can't tell him. He's 19 years old. You I know. tell him to put his feet up. Get out of here. He's 19 years old, and it's summertime. You're going to have fun. 19-year-old, summertime, and he just signed a million dollar, co- couple million dollar contract. You want me to sit at the house? You tripping. No, as long as he ain't doing hey, drugs. He's got a good-looking girlfriend. He's he all he can do at home. I'm sure he does do a lot at home. <laughs> uh, as long as he ain't doing drugs, as long as he ain't out here doing stupid. Yeah, that's that's banger, the most important thing. Good. As long as you haven't safe I, I just get worried when guys do that because they some guys tend to, you know, Drift off. Yeah, dude. They, 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 but I think his... They, because his, they, they, all these outside things become distractions. And then, 
here's what I'm saying too, because it might not even come from me, but if he starts off this season and he struggles to start the season off, people are going to look back at his his reality show. They're going to look back at him on stage doing rap concerts, and they're going to be like, "Well, why was he doing all this and?" Instead of doing this, so doing what? But we don't. He's don't all, all he's this is going to do is bring more unwanted and unnecessary attention. Do you to think? Him. Do you, Do you think that? Let's say, like, who's someone in the league that you think is not good, or he comes in and he sucks? Who's someone you think sucks? Like, let's say Javale McGee is known to be a guy that sucks, correct? Uh, yeah, but he, somebody like but he, he redeemed himself now. But, but I was going to say, do you think guys like that aren't working hard? Just because they suck, don't mean they're not working hard. Bro. Well, no, no one sucks up there. But you're in the saying NBA. if he comes up to, if he starts doing bad, they're gonna look at him like he should have been working harder. You don't think people will do that? People were killing Steve Nash for going golfing when he was injured. Well, people are unreal. You know, there's gonna be those fans. That's what I'm saying. But, but especially now, that's why you don't listen. Steve to Nash was noise. 40, so he didn't really care about the 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 critique. This kid's 19. He lives on social media. And that's what I'm saying. He's but that's what those kids day. do. It's a new era. And that's this what I'm saying. So era. he's just going to get... This is a new era. That's what kids do. And they're going to kill him all day. That's what well, I'm saying. And you think he cares? And he's already said he don't care. He already said he don't listen to that. I think he says that, but I don't think he means that. I don't just... I just think... It's like, hard for me to say that he means that when he stays I just on like, all day I don't, long. I just like... It makes me... I don't get how you're judging. You're a grown-ass man. You're judging this 19-year-old kid because he's on social media. And because you're a Laker fan, you're, it, it, that upsets you. Like, no, nah, I, let him live his life, bro. I'm not, not saying me. Months. I'm saying what, what, what's going to be out there for What is he doing wrong? What is he doing wrong? I'm not saying he Who is. cares? Why do you, I'm who saying cares these what people distractions say? people will use against him. I, but I don't... Use it against him for what? What if, else if can he they struggles, use against if them? He they struggles, already... they're gonna they're gonna use all this as ammo. We'll see. Well, they can, but I just don't feel like I just feel like what he did in the off season by doing this. I guarantee there's other guys doing this and doing concerts and doing this. And LeBron and them were on the banana boat together. You don't say nobody saying nothing to them. They could have been working out. Well, that's why you didn't win a ring. Well, you didn't see them in the banana boat when they were 19. You saw them in the banana boat when they were 28. No, with, you did see with them a couple still chips still already still. and. It's established as the best players in the NBA, like that, it was different. That's when you started to see more of that they stuff. Weren't even in All the, you the saw social from, media era wasn't big at their when they were young, and you know it. No, I social know social media wasn't big, and still, they I was still barely my. But there are still cameras everywhere. Well, and there's YouTube. <laughs> well, well, that's just that's that's what we're gonna do. I know you wanted to always bring your boy. You wanted to talk about that, Lonzo. We already talked about that. How the, the football, more football, NFL starting this. The Sunday. Dodgers. No, that's what I was going to want to get to. They're struggling right Dodgers. now. But I don't want to be one of those guys to say it, but I'm going to say it. I told you so. And if you want to go back a little bit, ch- check a podcast one back, maybe even go two back, couple podcasts no, no, back. No, 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 no. Your boy right here said. There, there's your boy right here said. Bringing Adrian Gonzalez back and just inserting him there and moving pieces was a mistake. And if you want to look at the record. It all coincides. No, with I mean, look, it, there's been injuries though, because Ballinger did get hurt. Missed like a week. That's nothing. Seager did get hurt. Seager still hurt. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Kershaw just came back. Darvish just came back. Alex Wood is still out. Like they're a little beat up. But all those guys were hurt for a while, and they were still kicking. You know this. What I oh I know, but I mean, with, and, now, and now there's been September call up, so uh, now you're getting no, no more mixture of young jocks these, coming back, young kids in the lineup Get playing now. So I just feel like I told you, I felt like the chemistry got somehow disrupted by bringing Adrian, and then now they're even trying to work your boy Ethier back in the lineup. Like, come it's on, September, Dave Roberts, you're doing too much, bro. I think the Dodgers, Somebody needs to tell I, I, Dave I don't Roberts think the Dodgers are really like worried about losing. Dodgers games here. need to. Designate for assignment Adrian Gonzalez. He needs to be out of the equation, and that is Bellinger's job first base. I just feel like they're that, that's what messed it up when they're trying to incorporate him. No, put you Bellinger can't blame left, him. And now they're putting Bellinger because their pitching's been terrible. And now they're moving Bellinger to left so they can put Ethier right. It's just like but they're their pitching, they're pitch, but their pitching's been bad though. They're just doing too much. You can't put that on Gonzalez. No, a lot of these games I'm looking at where they were putting up zeros or they're putting up one. That's not the well, that happens fault. though too. That's zero. That happens so well, too. Not, it's happening. Teams a lot get more skunked. Often. It's uh, happening a lot more often well, with you guys. It's our like first real losing streak of the season. Uh-huh. How this losing streak happened. Two months ago, no one would have noticed it. But now that it's one, happening now. One in ten? Yeah, they're one in ten that's in the last alarming. eleven games. Well, that's a little alarming. This ain't just a series we did, but that's a little alarming. Ah, uh, because you know how it is. Baseball is about streaks, and they can be really, really hot for that long, and you could also get really, really bad for that long. Yeah, because well. they, they 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 lost five in a row. They won one. They lost five in a row. That's what I'm saying. So that's not. I don't know. They need to get it right. Are they playing tonight? Or are I'm they not off? sure. I know they or got the D backs giving them a rest because the D backs been off. Bye, y'all!
Yeah. <laughs> they won 11 in a row. D I was surprised. D backs, dude, it's just. Uh, and then there, the D backs are leading the wild card, and then the Rockies are the second wild card. The NOS is loaded this year. And unfortunately, the Giants can't do anything. Yeah. And the thing is, too, for the Dodgers, if the Diamondbacks win the wild card, that's who the Dodgers face in their first round. So that's going to be tough. Yeah. And then they, when they get to the SEF, they get past in the second round. Most likely going to be the Nationals. Granky was pitching for his life yesterday. I was watching Granky yesterday. Granky was throwing that ball. He's good, time. man. He's good. Yeah, he, you know, he playing the playoffs against the Dodgers. He's going to be highly motivated to try to make something happen. And old boy hit four home runs on your team another two days I know, ago. J.D. Martinez. J.D. Martinez dropping bombs like that. I don't know. It's. I think it is time. To, it's, it's a little. It's, if you're a Dodger fan, I think you do need a little bit of worry. A little I bit. don't know if. A little worried. If panic is the right word, but. Uncomfortable is the right word. Well, we'll see. We'll have our next check in at um, one in eleven, one in ten right now. We'll have our next check in next podcast, and we'll let you know. Yeah, but then yeah, that's what we got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all tuning in. We we'll catch y'all next time. Where, where can they find you at? Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Mister Underscore D White. Follow me on Twitter at Chris Underscore ITFR on Instagram at Chris Dot in the front row. Yeah, we can check us on YouTube. Got us on YouTube. We got the YouTube channel in the front row. All the podcasts on there. All the interviews. Everything we got working. Everything our our got Canelo working. Triple G Media Day workout videos on there as well, guys. Everyone, check it out. Check was that LA Live? It was crazy. Check it out. YouTube, Instagram in the front row. iTunes as well. You can find us. Just keep it moving. All right, man. I'll talk to you guys next week. See you later. Peace. Kings of Galaxy fan in the front row. Got everything that you need from news and videos and all in between. So-